Hello, welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. How exciting is this? All right. I'm more excited than you all. And I tasted all of these. How are you doing? Good. Thank you. You are with the camera guy, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, we're going to get started here in a moment. Welcome. Uh, that's great that you secured a ticket. Uh, the first thing we do, how many of you see my YouTube channel? Fruitful Trees. You know the music I have at the beginning? So who wants to dance some ragging? <laughs> okay, well. Don't eat anything yet. No, don't eat anything yet. No eating yet. No, nothing yet. Put everything, put everything back away. Now remember the, the, the plate on the table is not for one person. That samples for everyone. And we're gonna describe what they are, and we're gonna have you all vote on if you like them or not. Okay? Alright. Somebody here, tell me what we The floor is yours. Oh, are you ready to start? Yes. Okay. okay, I'm so excited about different uh, tropical fruit trees and I, I've learned a lot of the people I've met over the years and interviewed and I want to pass that information over to you. So I'm going to say something about each variety we're going to taste today. But before I get started with that, I want to remind you all that don't judge the variety only on today's tasting. Because there's different trees, different times when they're picked and everything else. And you can taste a variety today and next time you can like it and today not like it or vice versa. And that's happened to me based on when they were picked and when. So you get a good idea of how they're supposed to taste. But don't put this in your top 10 or take it out of your top 10 just on this tasting. If you like one, there's a lot of vendors out there, they're selling mangoes, you can try that particular one, try it again, and then you'll know, well, yeah, that's my number one or number two. So keep that in mind. Don't say, well, I had that there, and it was the best or the worst. And we're going to have a great time today. So if, uh, how many of you are growing mango trees? Great, great. All right? So I continue to try to help people learn the best selections and... and I have my favorite this year, and I'll be announcing my official top 10 at the end of the year. But we're going to have a couple of them in this that are the best. The best is the best, in my opinion. But All right, so if anyone's not here, raise your hand. All right, good, they're all here. I see some empty chairs. Okay. So the first variety is going to be drum roll. Emily, the first, Emily. First variety is pickering. Is there anyone here who's never, uh, who has not tasted a pickering mango before? So most of you have tasted a pickering ma mango. So before we taste the pickering mango, before we taste it, I just want to let everyone know, pickering mango is the number one mango that a new mango grower is suggested to grow. It's small, it's easy to grow, it is disease resistant, and it gets an abundant crop early. And I don't mean early in the season, it does, but I mean you don't have to wait as long. So if somebody knows nothing about planting mangoes, pickering would be the best first choice. However, when you get into knowing mangoes and growing mangoes, it's not my personal favorite. It's not in my top 10. Somebody told me in the last class, it was their top mango of all. I'm like, you must not have tasted a lot of mangoes, but <laughs> taste is subjective. Some people love it. And if that's you, well, taste some of the ones we have here today, because 
Uh, it is great mango, it really is. Uh, so, is there, any, is there anyone here where Pickering is your favorite mango? Okay. All right, so we're going to taste it, everybody. Taste the Pickering mango that you have. It has a, a good Pickering, it's going to have a coconut tone to it. You get the beer one. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. A good pickling will have a coconut tone to it. And even though it's not my favorite taste, it's still what I would recommend as the, the first mango for people to grow. It's good. Mm. All right. So, how many of you. Oh, you go ahead. You, how many of you like pickling? No, I'm good. I, I, I know this. I, I got this I mango. So enjoy it. Enjoy it. Uh, uh, Thank you, though. Raise your hand if you thought it was just that. Okay, so that's number one pickering. Did everyone taste it? Okay. We're going to go to the next one. And pickering is very easy to pick. Not only is the name pickering, but it's a very e easy mango to pick because the skin turns a color. It turns a really pretty red and yellow when it's ready. But that's not why I call pickering. They call pickering because I think the guy was Wayne Pickering. He said, why don't you name it after me? I said, okay. All right, the next mango is, Emily, what's the next mango? Don. What's the next mango? Don. Don. Don is the next mango. No, and it's over right now. All right, is anyone here never tasted the Don mango? No. I've never, okay. I've never had it either. Don mango is not the best name, but it's a delicious mango. Dot mango, yes, a different flavor. Now, let me tell you something about the dot mango. How many people here are growing a dot mango? That's really good. Let me tell you this, everybody, and listen because it's important. If you have a dot mango, it's very important that you don't let this mango ripen on the tree. It is not a good mango when it ripens on the tree. That mango you want to pick, as soon as it turns yellow, uh, you want to pick it. It's going to be hard and unripe, and then you can let it sit on your counter about a week or so. So keep that in mind with that mango. Marcelo, nice to meet you, Marcelo. This time that's yours. What did everyone think about that mango? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you doing a video too? All right. Yeah. Do you guys like yeah. it? Yes. I have a small channel on YouTube, but it's in Spanish. What do you like better? Okay. Yeah. Pickering yeah. or Dot? Familiar. Uh, I don't know if I'm not familiar. Okay. Uh, really? Most people like Dot better than Pickering. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's really, I'm not. Very I good. just started doing this. Not everyone. Most yeah. people. <laughs> just just look for this name. An interesting note here. Are you guys interested in what I'm saying or no? Yeah. On YouTube. You should be able to find. All right, Justin, yeah. yeah, Thank you, I appreciate that. Dot one as the best mango. So, and, and also keep in mind, because some of you might have this question, we are not tasting the same mangoes, all of the ones we tasted in the last class. In the last class, we tasted some different ones than this one, so keep that in mind. That was number one in the last class. Okay, the next variety is cat. Has anyone here ever not tasted a cap? Has anyone here not heard of a cap? All right. If you're growing trees, cap is one of the most disease-resistant mangoes to grow. And it is an excellent flavor, in my opinion. But it is very vigorous. A very vigorous tree. So it might not be your Thank you, number son. one choice. If you don't Thank have you, Appreciate that. But that's cap. <laughs> So, completely different flavor than the others. That's a great I mango. Believe it's from Vietnam. Gage is a great mango. I so healthy. The tree is so healthy. So All right, everybody. Has everyone yeah, tasted really cat? So, what do you like better? How many people like cat? And what do you like better, dot or cat? Cat. All right. So cat is leading. So cat is leading. We got one more mango to try before we finish. 
No, just kidding. Everyone was getting in front of Just kidding. Now I got your attention, right? The police team came. They said, what? <laughs> All right. We got, we got several more. But so far, Captain in the week. Okay. 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 Anyone have a question or a comment about that? Really good. Okay. And remember again, don't judge everything in some one taste of yet. A very big tree, very vigorous. And very easy to pick to know when it's ripe. You can pick them ripe on the tree if you want to. You can pick them unripe, but they rip ripe and on the tree. It comes from Vietnam. I don't know the other parents. I believe it does. I'm not I believe it does. Okay, the next variety is it's a surprise to all of us. <laughs> Alright, Pack is winning right now. Okay, the next variety is Kaiser. Kaiser. This is Kaiser. Has anyone ever not had Kaiser before? You mean Kaiser? Right? You mean Kaiser. Uh, Kaiser. Right, you're glad you came here today. Kaiser. 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 Yeah, yeah. I was like, like, wow. I didn't know what it is. Kesar, not Kaisar. Kesar. I'm in New York. Is that the, is that coconut? That's like a jelly kind of uh, Indian. Okay, what do you want to think of the Kesar? Yeah. yeah. That's my favorite. What do you like better, Cap or Kesar? Cap. Cap is still winning. Well, that was a close one. Wait, wait, wait. Almost. If you uh, like Cap, better say Cap. Cap. If you like Kesar, I'm to say Kesar. Okay, Kesar will be. That's number two. Kesar will be. Kesar is number two. Okay, Cap tree. If you watch my channel, Cap is one of the first trees I planted because of the disease resistance. Yeah, Cap. I'm over. No, what's the Kesar? Kesar. Kesar, I have a tree. I like the flavor a lot. Uh, it's one of the Indian varieties that do very well here in South Florida. So keep that in mind. Uh, it gets big. It gets big. So remember that. Kesar is a, a, an Indian variety that's very well here in South Florida. Okay, the next variety is. It's a surprise to all of us again. It's so funny. What's the next Friday, Emily? Sweet tart. Sweet tart. How many of you have not tasted a sweet tart? Okay. Sweet tart is the next variety. And just so you all know, that Alex at Tropical Acres Farm, this is his favorite variety. Now, a little bit of information about sweet tart, if you want to hear. Sweet tart is not the easiest mango to figure out when it's ripe. Some people say pick it when it turns fully yellow and ripe from the tree. Some people say if you wait, it might ripen unevenly, so it might be bottom up. And some people say pick it unripe. It'll get jelly seed, possibly, if it's over or overripe. So you got to learn and figure out when the best time is to pick it. Another thing about this tree is they grow on a tree in bunches. And if you have a lot, 
on one branch, they'll grow much smaller. Oh, wow. But if you weed it out. That's number one for sure. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Take it out. Then they grow bigger. I get the name too. The yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a great mango. Do you have some trees at home? We talk. I do. I have, yeah, I have a few. Good. That's, that's, but I don't have this one. Oh, you should have it. That's a great. Yeah. Very healthy, too. What does everyone think of sweet heart? Yes. Has everyone tasted sweet heart? All right, so. How many of you like sweet heart as your number one? Okay, and so sweet tart is number one. Goal is number two. Pat and then Kai Sauce. Sweet tart, Pat and Kai Sauce. All right, what's the next variety? Maha Chinook. Now, a little bit about Maha Chinook. This is many people's favorite variety tasting. This is one of the easiest disease-resistant mangoes to grow in South Florida. When a lot of mangoes have problems during the season, a particular season, Maha Chinook always seems to come out clean. It's very disease-resistant. A lot of people like it. It has a unique shape. So the mango has a unique shape, so it's very easy to identify. It's long, and it gets very colorful when it's ready. So this is a lot of people's favorite tasting mango. It's not my personal favorite. It's not even my personal top 10. The taste is subjective. So you can all try that now. Maha Shiru. Don't ask me how to spell. Nobody can correct you because you made <laughs> Anyway, it's coming, it's coming. I know it's telling you away, but how many of you got to try it just now or are you still waiting? They're waiting. They're waiting. Maha Shuru. Has anyone here tasted it before? What do you think? It's delicious. It's a great man. It is, that's a great man. You should have that one too. I hope you're learning a lot. And did you guys go check out some of the lectures this morning? Yes. It's and from Thailand, but it has have like a kind of like a Indian flavor to it. To us. Really? Yeah. Okay. Not my favorite. No. What do you all think of Maha Chanel? Okay. So so far, the number one is still Sweetheart. Is the number two still? Kaisar? No, Kak. Kak. Kaisar. Does anyone like Mahashanook better? No. No. Okay. <laughs> so you got that? I still like the dog. Yeah. And then also, it's when closer to the skin, you have a better flavor, like more spicy yeah, more on the skin. But once you cut it like one that, more I mean, and it's a little overripe too, okay. I think. Yeah. But it's really, a really healthy tree also. I can yeah. tell you that now, this next great mango, hello, everybody, this next mango, this next mango is one mango that many people haven't tasted, many people haven't heard, but without a doubt, it's one of the best tasted mangoes you will ever taste. Okay. I predict this will be everyone's number one here today. Probably lemon sauce. Matter of fact, it's probably my top three or four mangoes. I have a tree. Now, let me tell you about the tree. First, the mango is called white That's puree. A one. Has anyone ever tasted white puree? No. So I'm, the tree comes just from Hawaii. This. The tree itself is very susceptible to powdery mildew. If you have a tree, you must spray it with sulfur or something, to, or water or something to take care of the powdery mildew. It is a great tasting mango. White Puree. 
And you see me talking about this on my From Hawaii, it's supposed to be really good. I never had it before. No? No. It's like wow. Did he say what it is? This is white marine? I mean, yeah. To me, it tastes like a sweet vanilla. What do you all think about that? That's different. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I like it. What do you think? No? Okay. <laughs> it's yeah. What do you think? <laughs> Very good. Is anyone here as white Puri as your number one? No. Okay. Okay. Surprise. Is white Puri your number two? No. Is it your number three? Uh, I'll say number yeah. three. Okay. So for number one, we have... Uh, Sweetheart. Sweetheart. Number two was... Cac. Cac. And was number three, white Puri. Yeah. Yeah, at least mine. Okay. We have, or we have one more. The mine is great. Yeah, yeah that's a great one mango more. too. One more. Okay. Hey, that's a great hat. That's a wonderful hat. Yes. All right, now we're going to taste our last one. And remember, if you like one of these varieties, the vendors are out there selling mangoes, and they will have some of these. By the way, by the way, if anyone likes a, uh, mango lassi, has anyone heard of mango lassi? It's uh, an Indian drink. It's a dessert. I have some at my booth. So you check that out. Okay, the next. Okay, we're getting ready for last Friday, but we got a mango joke. Everybody be quiet. This is a complicated joke. You gotta hear it. Go ahead. Why did the mango go to the doctor? Why? Why? It wasn't peeling well. Okay. That was a complicated joke. Okay. I have another mango joke. Some people say they like Pickering as number one. <laughs> okay. We have one more variety here, and it's called Angie. Has everyone tasted Angie? Okay. Thank you. We're going to taste Angie and see what we can do. <laughs> Thank you. I like that one. Yeah, too. Thank you. Yeah. Really good. All right, everybody. Maybe tied for a second. Did everyone yeah. get an Angie? Yeah. yeah. That, that sweet tie was too good. All right. That's what you all think of Angie. To top that, for sure. that, was that was perfect, man. What a great, yeah. I really like that one. <laughs> How many of you have Angie as your number one? How many of you have Angie as your number two? How many of you have Angie as your number three? So the winner is Sweet Tart came in first, followed by Kesar. No, Pat. Pat was number two. Number three is White Puri. White Puri. Thank you, everybody, for uh, joining us. And, uh... Bravo, Paul. Thank you. And uh, I, if any of you have any growing mangoes and you want me to come feed you on my YouTube channel, contact me and I'll come out. We'll make it happen. Thank you for growing and keep growing. Thank you.